Hello everyone, Commander K here, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we'll be bringing out one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game, and you can already see, it's the Sherman at 3.7. Now let's hope we can get some good battles, and we'll be off. Alright, welcome to Domination Italy. Uh, as you can see, we have the Northern spawn this time. And so I'll be pushing in to try and capture A. I personally don't really like this map, so um, we'll uh, we'll see where this goes. Enemies are already capping A. I'll pop an artillery to try and spot some people. Uh, I have a few sound mods installed, uh, I'll have them link in the description below. That includes the uh, Epic Thunder sound mod, which is amazing. Changes pretty much Every weapon sound effect in the game. Oh my god, that is so awesome. Am I the only one who is unable to locate any enemies? I... I don't really trust this. Alright, we're capping at least. That's nice. We there's no one in the cap point. Enemies. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. Allied forces have captured a zone. The enemy is getting closer to victory. Target's located. There's supposed to be an air here somewhere. Oh, I see him. Ah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. This battle is both good and bad right now, because, well, bad, because I don't have a single kill yet. Good, because I haven't even been shot at yet. Which, I think we all know isn't very nice in the Shermans. Except for if it's a Puma. It doesn't seem like the Puma is able to pen frontally? I don't know why I... Maybe I just remember wrong or something, but I remember it being able to easily get through your front. And now, lately, it hasn't been able to pen me at all. I, I might just be remembering wrong. Another, de another dead guy. Fantastic. Seem to be able to make it to the enemies in time. Oh wait, there's another tank. Destroyer, that is. He's still alive. Oh yeah, no, we have the Russians on our team. Oh yeah, I did not see those guys. <laughs> I should have seen them. They stick out like a sore thumb. But I'm a moron. I'm always super paranoid on this map that we're going to be spawn camped. Uh, I, mean, I have very bad memories of being spawn camped this thing. This 
thing, this map. Oh, yep, there it goes. There it goes. Well, that was a bad game. Okay, this time we're on Domination Karelia. Okay, maybe if we let the map load in a bit, we're gonna go to my favorite position on this entire map. I just absolutely love this position. It just takes ages for the Sherman to get up this hill. Uh, once you get up there, you're gonna start kicking some ass. Come on, girl. Come on. Get that rotary engine going. Yeah. Get those RPMs up. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm at top RPM, so that doesn't really help. C could you, like, put in lower gear? That would actually help climbing? No? Okay, well. About uh, 250. I'm already taking out a fire. And I missed. Uh, of course, you got my gunner. It's not fair that they're not able to put Ardy on my position, but I'm not able to put Ardy on their positions. Really, had did absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, that's what you get. Dead, right? Yeah. All right. Now that T34 died. What this is that at? Closer than that. Our is near. Oh, nice! Another assist. captured two points, that's good. Uh, why can't this be like my last game on this map? I'm like, got like six kills from this position in less than five minutes, it was amazing. Sadly I didn't record that. Why, why do I always get the good games when I'm not recording? I don't get that. Whoa. You know, I would have let you go. But now. Yeah, see, I was gonna let you go. I was gonna reposition. But no, you had to open fire. You can't pen me frontally. I mean, verbal wimps can do a lot of damage to me, but not from the front. I mean, at least they're not supposed to be able to pen you from the front, but... 
It's War Thunder, so sometimes it freaks out a bit. I'm kind of mad that I can't shoot the guy. You can drop artillery on him. Attention to the map. Bye. <sighs> this is why I really like the Sherman at 3.7. Anywhere above 3.7, it's absolutely horrid. I think there's a tank. Uh, that was a bit too high. Is that a tank or is that just a rock formation? That was just a tree. That's a tank though. <laughs> uh, I love that kind of shot. My dog is... Um, going... wild. probably able to hear that. No, you are able to hear that. I know you are, as a fact, because I've had on multiple occasions people be like, oh my god, what's up with your dog? Okay. Should I reposition now? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna reposition now. We've taken all the cap points, so that's nice. Yeah, I know I'm not very super productive in our team, but... This position is always really nice. But then, on the contrary, I don't like the one that the enemy has. They're counterpart of that position, I don't like it, because it doesn't have as much cover as that one does, because there it's basically you can just back up again and you're fine, you back up behind that rock and you're fine, but the other position doesn't really have that, it's a lot more difficult, especially with taller tanks like the Sherman, to be effective in that position. At least, from what I've found, I don't know, maybe, I mean, of course, more skilled players than me are able to utilize that position better, but, you know, whatever. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Oh, I love these new sounds, though. Ah, uh, so nice. Hello, fellow American. I just love it playing American. You see all these wonderful tanks, like all these Shermans coming here and like, dominating everything. And, ooh, that's a new position. To me, that is. I, I've never seen that. Oh, hello. I was. I was too busy looking at my friendly up at that interesting position to even notice that AA. You know, if you just wouldn't have opened fire, you would be alive right now. I wouldn't even have noticed you. Yeah, it was just a rock. I mean... We are very victorious. That's also a position I've never seen anyone be in. How many? They have like, they have one guy left. It's the aircraft. He's their last guy. We're practically one already. 
Unless, of course, someone's gonna respawn. Why did you just... Fucking... Why did you guys do that? Wait, dude, I can help you repair. Oh, no, I can't. I can't help you repair. No! No, 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 I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna have to repair my tank. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to repair my tank. Oh, nice. We were the best squad, apparently. Basically, I didn't want to have to repair my tank. Because if we would have repaired my tank, I would have had to pay more money. I want I want to save as much money as I can get because I don't have that much money right now. Oh my god, not the order. Why do I always get the orders? Why can't you sell orders? Ah, oh, tricolor camouflage. It doesn't matter because I don't like the tricolor camouflage. I like the drop. Oh god. I like the tropical camo, not the bicolor. <sighs> Alright, so that's two games in the bag. Let's go one more. Oh god, frozen pass. I don't like frozen pass. A kind of interesting story. Uh, when it comes to Karelia, I used to hate that map for like years. Like, I, I absolutely hated that map for years. And now, it's one of my favorite maps. I don't know why. I just really like it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tropical camouflage isn't the smartest camouflage to have when you're on a winter map. But I don't care. Besides, I don't think I have winter camouflage for this tank. Yet. Uh, wow, a KV-2. Uh, fun story, actually, when it comes to KV-2. Uh, I was researching it a while ago when playing Russia, which I don't play that much, and I frankly only play it because I have a friend who mains... Well, no, he doesn't really main Germany. He was just grinding up to get the Panther, but, you know, wanting to play alongside him, I played Russia, because I had already played a bit of Russia so I wouldn't have to grind up from the ground in another country. Uh, so I started researching the KV-2 because, well, I was able to and I went to buy it and the game was like, no, you, you can't buy it because you have to research the uh, KV-1 whatever it's called that's before the KV-2. I was like, but, but why was I able to research the KV-2 in the first place? Ah, pulled back. Oh, Germans under goddamn smoke, though. Jesus Christ. Seriously. You use it so often. Yeah, I know you said that already. Yeah, yeah, so that woman died? I don't know. Oh, nice, adamant. Because artillery doesn't really do anything anymore. Unless, I mean, it spots you, but it doesn't really damage you in regular tanks unless you're directly hit. Except, of course, on the lower BRs, but we don't talk about that. I mean, I've had a great low BR. Still, there's a guy like right here somewhere. He's behind these rocks, isn't he?
Oh no, it was just that. Twenty-four. The was your guy there? No, I think that was artillery. Oh, tank. Oh, that destroyed my breach. Verbo rims, man. What is with those things? <laughs> They're more effective at taking down tanks than they are at taking down aircraft, it feels like. God, I don't stand here and repair. I know it's a very, very risky spot to stand around. There, but it's I have some KV2 cover and KV1 cover so hopefully they'll keep me clear I should probably do that okay seven seconds left One, here we go. That guy's dead. Oh no, the enemy's capturing the A port. Whatever will we do? Okay, now they're capturing two points. That's actually a bad thing. Artillery? Hey tank, could you move, please? Thank you. Mm, I should probably add the uh, radio sound on the mod as well. Now that I think about it. Got teamwork. Oh, yeah, because bombs. Good job. He cleared out the point. I mean, he killed one guy, but he still cleared out the point. All right, what am I? Hmm. Two kills. That's not too bad. I mean, considering that I haven't died once. That's not too bad. Uh, I love the shimmer when you go downhill and go so fast. I'm just gonna actually get this guy. I'll see you when he's back up again. And we're back! So... I mean... I'd say we'd won this game already. I mean, of course, they, they can still turn it around. Oh, oh, I love those sounds. Is that my artillery? Could be my artillery. I should probably upgrade strike call in time. Uh, of course... Uh, you know, it's just a lot more important things to upgrade than the artillery strike call in time, but like... You know. Oh my my barrel's damaged. Mm. Not that much, so it should be fine. Not like it breaks after I fire, hopefully. That's also because that damn verbal wind. Do I still have the bullet holes in me? No I don't. Excellent. Oh I thought I saw tag for a moment there. Oh, that guy's dead. Jesus. I love that sound for the KV2 as well. Oh, 
Epic Thunder is such a good mod, you should really get it. Like, seriously, no joke, you should get it. Just when I was about to move out. Please turn back KB2 season. Nope, he didn't. Darn. Oh, that's so loud. That's a problem with this. some of the guns are just so loud with the Epic Thunder mod. So I actually had to lower my uh, volume after installing it. Yeah, we pushed them back to their spawn. We, we already won this game. What's my position in the game? Hmm. Fifth. Not that bad. Considering I've had, I've had, I had some terrible games before I started record, recording, recording today. I mean, so bad games. Absolutely horrid. I mean, I was actually contemplating at one point that, like, if I don't get a single good game, I just I just quit playing for today and not record. You know, wait, wait with that until tomorrow. And then I got some good games, and I was like, "All right, we'll start recording. Hope for the best." And here we go, victory. Well, it's a short. I'll have to thank myself for today, and uh, I'll see you in another battle.